Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the video. Key Hal Chat. I hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to see the problem House Robber Food. Although we have already seen this problem in previous contest discussion, but yeah, let's see it again. It simply says that you are given uh, you know some consecutive houses. So you have some houses which are placed consecutively, and these are placed along a street. So this is a street having some houses which you H1, H2, H3, and so on and so forth. You know, H0, H1, H2 h3 and h4 and so on and so forth now each has some money inside it so that money amount is given to you let's say you know first house has an amount of two next three next five next nine and so on and so forth now there's a robber now you are the robber right i know you don't want to be but yeah you are a robber right now and you want to steal money from the home but the condition is that you cannot steal money from adjacent homes so if you steal from here you cannot steal from here if you steal from here, you cannot steal from here, right? You cannot steal from the adjacent homes, which, uh, whichever you are actually stealing from. So let's say if you plan to steal from here, then obviously I cannot steal from here or here. Cool. Uh, so the question is that, uh, you know, the capability of a robber is the maximum amount of money he steals from one of the houses out of all the houses he robbed. So let's say if I rob these two houses, so obviously my capability is the maximum amount I can rob out of all the robbed houses. So my robbed houses are two and five. I can rob the maximum as five. That's your capability. The maximum amount of money you can rob from one house. This is one house. And I'm given this array of nums, giving the corresponding nums of I as a dollar amount. And I'm also given K. What this K means is, minimum number of houses i will have to have to rob i get at least houses are at least key houses i will have to rob no matter what and again they are mentioning that it is always possible to rob key houses you have to find the minimum capability of the robber which means that he has to rob key houses so if he robs key houses so obviously if he robs two houses then one option is he might rob three and nine in that the capability is nine another option if he robs two houses is two and five his capability will be five out of these two capabilities his minimum one is five and that is what the answer is five same way let's say we take this question two seven nine three one he has to rob two houses again he can rob two houses it can be these two it can be these two it can be these two okay what is the capability here obviously we will see the capability here is uh for if i if he robs these two it is nine if he robs these two it is three if you robs these two it is two okay then what if my robber robs these two these two or he robs these two then his capability is seven his capability is one but again make sure that i am robbing two only it can be three as well so again it can literally keep on increasing so let's say if i have three so i have to kind of rob something of this sort or this sort so you see that possible options to rob you know multiple houses can actually be very high now uh, the next thing let's say the robber would have is robbing these two the capability will be nine you will see that sorry here it, it should not have been one it should not it should it, it would have been seven only so out of all of these options you will see right now that two is minimum and that's the reason my answer is two so obviously you have all these houses given then what is the option with, with you simply you will see that okay let's take the same example say so two seven nine three one i will have to rob two houses that's one thing but i can also focus on the capability that i can try for minimum capability let's try let's try to start off with one can i achieve one as a capability which means that i will try to rob and I will try to rob the houses only having capability less than only having the money less than one. And then obviously I will be having capability of less than one only because see capability was the maximum amount I can, I have out of all the robbed houses is my capability. So if I want to achieve capability of one as my, you know, minimum capability, if I, if I want to achieve that as my minimum capability, so I started off from the minimum itself, which is one. And if that is the case, I'll say, okay, let's try that if I can rob one. So if I rob one, which means I can only rob a house with a value less than equal to one. 
if i rob this one oh i cannot rob anyone else and that's one thing and yeah i am screwed up if i'm screwed up then what uh obviously if i'm screwed up then uh, hmm there's an issue right what is the issue the issue here is that uh, you wanted two but you only got one and that's the thing okay maybe try increasing it i increase the capability to two now i can rob a house less than equal to okay but then again make sure whenever you rob something you cannot rob that next one okay but will i rob this obviously not because it is higher than two ignore it it is no higher than two ignore it yes okay i can rob this so with the capability of two i can rob two houses and that's what i wanted okay great what if the k would have been three what if the k would have been three then again uh two would not have been a good choice i would have to increase it let's let's say if i increase the capability to two three then what then obviously i can rob this i will not rob this this is not even like not, not even in question i cannot rob this because it is more than uh three then i can rob this yes but i, I cannot rob this again i did not i was not able to achieve my three robs or three house which are being robbed so again this is not the answer okay next try uh, let's try for the next next number next number i will try for let's say four can i rob four uh, like can i rob with the minimum uh, capability of four so i'll try yes this is robbable uh, this is not and you know this is also not again because it is higher than four this is yes again if this is yes i cannot drop this again uh, this comes out to be no i cannot drop three houses that's an issue okay let's try for five same way for five let's try for six same way for six let's try for seven now okay when i try for seven i'll realize that okay let's start robbing things okay i can drop this yes i'll not drop this okay i cannot drop this and i can rob this yes i can rob this yes but obviously it's consecutive so i can i will not rob this so technically you could have robbed here but obviously you cannot rob consecutive houses so that's an issue if that's an issue then you might start thinking um i didn't what like if i would have robbed these these again it is not catching up so do i only have an option of these as a robbing will you see if you see closely yes this is the only option for you to rob and it is two nine and one now the question might come up that uh, i'm always going consecutively is it always beneficial which means that if you remembered when the capability was seven when we robbed the first house we didn't even check the next one although he was capable although he was capable but still we didn't check it because we because we had the consecutive check so we didn't check it so will it hamper us in future i'll say never because imagine that you have to take things right you took this you you took this right and again your task is that with some specific capability cap so imagine this has a this has a capability cap with this capability cap you have to somehow make sure that uh, i take k at least k number of uh, houses i rob so isn't it good that you rob as many houses as possible and again that as many houses let's say that my count is uh k let's say my count is count count of robbed houses so obviously if i want it to be higher so i'll just say that count should be higher than or equal to k then i was able to achieve my corresponding condition input condition of k so with that fact the question coming back to was that are you were uh, you know putting up a, is it as right and because of this being counted you never counted that and this is okay because if you counted this or what if you would have counted this one and you would have ignored this one so you might think are i will apply dp side kind of things that i will have two options take it or ignore it then obviously you will see that we are kind of going towards a greedy logic that whatever came first that okay i i just wanted the count to be more than equal to k so even if this gets up or this gets up for me this gets up which means i take this and obviously i now cannot take the next one but still i have the liberty to now start taking from the next ones but if i would have taken this one then i i had the liberty to only start taking from the next one which is after this one so like from here i can take it 
So obviously, it is much beneficial that we start early. And that is the reason there is no logic of applying DP here. Because you are always starting early and taking the first one, which can actually follow your capability, capability criteria. So you are applying greedy logic of taking the first one and thus you will not apply DP, but you are doing a linear search, starting from the minimum capability value to going higher, 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 higher until your count of house being robbed becomes more than equal to K. And that's your, uh, and the first capability criteria which can satisfy your count was actually your answer. So with this linear search which you are doing, what is the time complexity of that? Obviously, you will search for all the capabilities from one to what? To a maximum value of capability, which is nothing but the maximum capability in this entire household, which is let's say nine in this case. So let's take it as M, capital M, the maximum value in the nums of I. If you look at the constraints, you will realize the maximum value is 1E9. Oh, 1E9. So this is 1E9, which is M. And after getting the capability, you iterated on the entire array from left to right, considering the greedy logic, considering the greedy logic and saying that, okay, whoever is first, which is less than equal to this capability, I will take that in consideration to rob and I will try to rob, cons uh, leaving conservative houses, I will try to rob. And if I can rob at least K houses, I'm good with that capability. And because I'm going from smallest to largest, I will always get the minimum capability as an answer. And then I'm good with that answer. I'll return that answer. So with that fact, you, when you choose some specific capability, you try to iterate on this entire thing from left to right, which is O of N size. So obviously you will take O of N size, you know, you, you will do O of N iteration. This is the greedy logic. This is the greedy logic, which you try to get just to get the, uh, so that to achieve count is more than equal to K. And same way, you just iterate on here, which is 1E9. So your complexity total will be 1E9 into, if I check N, N is 1E5. So this 1E14, which will not work. So what we, what you can do? Obviously you can do a binary search because binary search says that if I would have tried for capability, you know, small capability, what I was doing, I was going one, two, three, four. This is the capability I was going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so forth up till let's say one E nine. So it was not possible, 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 not possible. Yes, possible, 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 possible. So, so you see this, this is the fashion, which is called as binary search. So I can simply apply binary search on this fashion because I know that this is corresponding answer, which I want. And on answer, I'm applying a binary search because of this pattern of wrong, right or it can be right or wrong as well. So I will apply a binary search. If you don't know, this is called as binary search on answer. Also, if you don't know, just come on to the website and come on to crash courses, look for binary search, which is here. Then this is the basic binary search template, which we end up using, right? Uh, so if I just show you a template of binary search, you will see this is a template, which we, you know, end up using this template of binary search. And the actual, again, if you want to just, you know, take, check a problem, this is a problem which you can check for binary search on answer. Now, coming on back, uh, we know that we'll apply simple binary search. With that, what will happen? This portion will convert to log. So I, it, it will be log of 1e9. And again, I will simply iterate on this. So it will become n log n. Complexity will become n log n. And that's how I can simply get it passed. Cool. Let's see again uh, the code binary search logic, which means that I will keep left and right, right? This thing, this logic, this logic of binary search, which is a template of binary search remains same. So this portion which I'm kind of pointing out, this is the template of binary search, which we have been using. It is the exact same template. If I go on back, this is the exact same template of binary search, which is pointed here. Cool. Now with that template, you will see that uh, let's, we'll just simply proceed forward. How? Let's see. Firstly, as I mentioned that I'm doing a binary search on my answer answer is the capability. So I'll take the minimum capability and the maximum capability, which is the, which is the maximum value in my nums of I. And then I'll just assume my answer. Okay. Take the answer as right. You know, maximum, maximum capability will always be the answer because the problem itself says that you will always have an answer. So that can be right itself. Okay. Let's proceed forward. Then a simple binary search while left is less than equal to right. Find the mid. If he, if, if the robber can rob it, Obviously he will try and okay, I will try for a lesser capability value. If I cannot rob it, I will have to try for a higher capability value. 
and this is what we saw in the binary search template as well that rather than you know simplify like to simplify things we take answer as for our searching again this is exactly we saw in this uh, binary search template so make sure that you check that out and with that in mind we know that uh, the camera function will simply go and have a greedy check from left to right the first number which is less than equals to my mid which is the one which is being binary searched on i will have a check if it is less increase the count and because i want to skip the next element so increase the i so what will happen because of this let's say if you rob this house you will increase the count and then you will go on to the next index but again this i this i move to the next index but obviously this i will again move to the next index so now you technically skipped this specific house because you want to rob alternate and because you are choosing greedy that's the reason you were you were first element which you could rob you rob that and then you moved forward that is how you simply checked ultimately if the count is more than equal to k and with that in mind my time will be o of n log n log n for binary search and n for can rob function and space will be o of 1 because no extra space being used neither here or here cool i hope you guys liked it bye bye take care